Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Doom 2's Hell Reveal 2 on Ultraviolence. This is map 3, Shackled. The first thing not to do here is stand still. Immediately move back to grab the shotgun, and then kill the shotgunners. You don't want to stand still because there's also a Rockentron behind you. Who's now infighting the Mancubus, which is good. Let's see who's gonna win. The Rockentron won. Okay, I'm gonna let the chain gunner shoot a bit because he's damaging the chain gunner, uh, the mancubus. And every bit of extra damage helps because they don't give you a lot of ammo in this part. Okay, up next is the pain elemental and the chain gunners. The hell knights I will keep alive for now. Because I can get, I can get them to invite the Mancubus. Okay, now when we press this switch, it's gonna open this wall, give you a lot of imps. This is the part where your shells will often run out. And now you're gonna have to face some zombie man and chain gunner. But I'll use the pistol for this part. Just to save ammo. Oh well, I don't even have ammo for this. I have four shells, that's not enough. But luckily, there are shells here. So I'm uh, not shellless anymore. But as you can see, an Ashfall spawned. And he's resurrecting all the imps that I killed. And it's really awkward to take out. I'll have to use the chain gun. And the Hell Knight's infight and Mancubus, that's great. In the meantime, I will try to kill this Archfowl. But yeah, it's really awkward because he keeps walking away. Come on. Come back here, please. I miss you. I could potentially get closer and use the super shotgun, but the windows are too small and I will miss half my pa half my pallets. So I just use the chain gun. Let's see, can I get the mancubus to infight? Yes I can. In the meantime I will kill this one, this hell knight. The cell and I will probably die, and then I'll kill the rest of the Mancubi. Oh wow, we killed the Mancubus, that's the first. Alright, now there's a secret here, you can lower this crate. And the green armor is tagged as a secret. Now if you want to open the door there, you have to hit the switch and you need to run pretty quickly because the door is on the timer. And once the door closes, there's no way to go back again. So if you miss the green armor, you uh, cannot grab it anymore. Okay, up next, two Hell Knights in a very small room. A bit annoying, but not too bad. And well, as you can hear, there's a lot of breathing going on. And that is because there are a lot of sun men. This is something I noticed in Hell Review 2. They really like placing like a bunch of zombie men in small uh, areas and they just kill each other. And this is a bit of a trap. Once you um, try to approach the blue door, it's gonna open up doors with barons, revenants, and chain gunners. What I'm gonna do is open the doors and quickly go up the stairs and get safe. Just like that. And then I will create a mosh pit. And I'm gonna observe with glee. So usually two barons survive and then uh, I'll kill them myself. But let's see if anything else different. Uh, anything else happens. No, I don't think so. This baron's probably gonna die. 
soon. Sooner or later. No? Okay. Three barons survived this time. I think they are evolving. They are getting stronger. Okay, this berserk I will save for later, just in case. I'm surprised I uh, didn't receive any damage yet. Ah, there we go. I got worried for a second that this might be my lucky day, but it's not. So here's the yellow key. And yeah, the layout of this level is a bit weird. So first you grab the colored key, then you get to the colored door. Instead of the other way around. In most maps, you see a yellow door. And you think, where's the yellow key? But here they give you the key first and then they show you the door. Interesting design in my opinion. Okay, so this is annoying part level 2. There's an arch foe, I wanna get close to the door. So I can shoot him in the face with a super shotgun. And I hope he doesn't get hit by the Mankibai. Or Hell Knights, because then he's gonna run all the way back. Okay. Now there's four revenants. I like to lure them here, because I have more stuff to uh, hide behind to dodge their projectiles. Okay, up next, kill the Mancubus. Because he's a pain. Should I kill the Hell Knights? No, the Mancubus did for me. Thank you, Mancubus. Because these Hell Knights are a bit annoying to kill, you have to use the chain gun, because they are a bit too far away to efficiently kill with the shotgun and super shotgun. Okay, so this is the most annoying part in the level. Well, not yet. Let me lure these imps here real quick. Okay, so this is the most annoying part because at the end of the hallway, across the when it, when you make a turn, there's like five or six barons there, and when you get where the where the shells are, this wall is gonna open up with two arch files, and then to kill them quickly before the barons get here, and it's just a cluster of monsters where I cannot kill the arch files uh, efficiently, and they start resurrecting everything. So I'm gonna run to that corner, and then back. And then kill these archfiles. So hopefully I get I get to kill them before the barons uh, get here. Oh, here they come! Come on, good. So if you're too slow, the barons power up, and the archfiles are uh, stuck in between or sandwiched between barons, and there's just no way to kill the archfiles. And every time you kill a baron, they will resurrect the baron. And they are still sandwiched, so this went better than uh, than hoped. So it really helps to just shoot three rockets at them and then take them out with the super shotgun rather easily. I think there's two more. Yeah. Well, it's only two. So taking them out with the super shotgun is not too bad. It's not like the first Hell Refute where you're forced to kill 30 Barons with a super shotgun. Because remember guys, that is not fun. And behind this wall is a secret Berserk. This switch lowers the rocket uh, box. And when you grab the red key, it's gonna open up the wall with a lot of revenants. So what you wanna do is just sneakily grab these rockets. Then you make a noise to get them out of that room, and then just spam rockets. Because they cannot get on the stairs. As you've seen with the barons and archfiles. And that's how you take out a bunch of revenants. 
Um, so yeah, we got the red key now, and if you were sharp, you may have noticed a small door here at the beginning area. This is not a secret, by the way, but it does give you a plasma rifle, so it's like an optional backtracking door, I guess. And the plasma rifle is really useful. You're gonna see in just a second after I kill these Hell Knights. And also the Hell Knights. So, when you enter this teleporter, you're gonna be stuck in a small room with Hell Knights. So this is a perfect usage for the, for the plasma rifle. So yeah, a bit nasty. And these chain gunners just shoot rockets and they will die. And I think that's it. Yeah. And as you can see, we made a full circle. So this is the starting area. This is the uh, Aragnatron that infighted, uh, infought with the Mancubus. And it's also the exit portal. So there we go. That's shackled. It's a not well. It's a fairly difficult map for a map three, especially the first room with the Archfell is quite tricky when the Archfell start, starts resurrecting all DMs. And the second Archfell is okay, but the last two, with all the Barons, that can be really troublesome if you don't know what you're doing. But uh, luckily I've played this map a thousand times, so I know exactly what to do. But yeah, it's a pretty fun level, I like it. So up next is map 4, and I will see you guys then.